So now we have the drag race. On the left, I've got the 790 Duke. On the right, we've got my benchmark of fast, which is my Jigsaw 750. Let's get on with it, lads. Three, two, one, go! So we're back at Knox HQ. We've had time to digest the results of our little drag race. Probably the first question you're asking, who on earth puts a 790 Duke against a GSX-R 750? Surely the results are gonna be obvious, right? Well, do you know what? This is my bike um, and I know it from head to toe, I really do. And I've had this on loan for a couple of weeks from KTM. And as soon as I got on it and having ridden it extensively over that time, I was so impressed um, with, with how powerful it felt. It felt really powerful and, um, you know, so much torque available, so much power available in every gear virtually. And it got me asking the questions, God, do you think this would be as fast as my bike? Obviously, you can see the results. The GSX-R is a clear winner, but not by as much as you would think, actually. And I just want to talk about um, the reasons probably for that. Firstly, electronics on the 790 Duke, incredible. On track mode on this bike, you've got launch control and you've got anti-wheelie as well. So that means you can get a really, really consistently fast start. And actually every time we drag race them, the Duke was way in front, up to about sort of 60 miles an hour, easily in front of the GSX-R 750, really consistent. It literally enables you to put every single last horsepower of this motor down onto the tarmac. Um, you know consistently whereas obviously the gsxr the you know the power delivery is different it's much higher up the rev range so you've got to get to about 10,000 rpm before you really get into that power band um, there's no traction control there's no anti-wheelie there's no uh, launch control anything like that so you can really see the electronics playing into um, into this bike and enabling it to be as fast as it possibly can be so then up to about what 80 miles an hour they're probably about even stevens actually uh, considering the launch this gets and then of course the gsxr like a black missile comes up from behind and and, and bips it at the end in fact they finished off this one we clocked at the end of the run uh, 126 miles an hour the 790 duke was um was 110 okay so the other thing of course is the power delivery this one um the you straight away you're in the power range you know um seven r seven thousand rpm upwards that is where the power is on this the gears are much shorter you've got a quick shifter so you literally bah, 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 bah. it's amazing um so i think we finished 110 i think we were just going into fifth gear uh, by that point whereas obviously the jigs are totally different power delivery all the power is 10,000 uh, rpm and above um, we at 126 we're just going into third gear by that point um, so totally totally different uh, power delivery really really interesting genuinely both of these bikes are incredibly quick um, dynamically on the road, on, on, on sort of twisties and stuff, I might actually say that this one would be probably faster uh, dynamically on that kind of uh, terrain, that kind of, um, that kind of road. Whereas the GSX-R, obviously you get this onto a track, that's really where it's going to come into its own. It's going to fly down the straights way quicker than this one um, and probably handle better as well. But it's so interesting to get a different comparison between these two bikes. And while they are a little bit chalk and cheese, actually, you know, I'm a customer for this type of bike and I would consider both. And to be honest, I'm quite considering whether I'll make the switch. So look, hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Um, maybe the results weren't surprising for you. Maybe they were, I don't know. But please like, please comment, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and tap that notification bell as well. 
Um, please also check out the Knox range. We make all the gear that we wear while testing these machines. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you on the next video.